I always thought it was interesting how base set 1 had Pidgeotto but no Pidgeot, had a Dragonair but no Dragonite. I figured that's just there for later sets to include them, which made sense, but it always seems odd that these two were there, but they had no final evolution. What was really odd was how Metapod was in base set, but it had no Butterfree. I thought that was kind of wacky. Same thing with Coughing. Coughing had no Weezing, but that's besides the point. One thing that made Dragonair stand out was its ability Happy Beam. If the Fanny Pokemon has energy cards attached to it, choose one to discard them. Low damage, high energy cost, but a built-in energy removal. So a, a very fun deck you can make using this ability would be a colorless energy removal deck. This is a layout similar to what I used back then. It's not exact because I didn't use Pidgeotto. I just have it in here for the giggles. So we're starting out with four Pidgeys. Four Fratinis. Four Chanseys, which actually do more than just be a buffer for damage. They actually can deal damage in this deck, which is a nice change of pace. Two Pidgeotos. Ooh, there you are. And two Dragonairs. So that was your layout for this deck. 12 basic Pokemon, four evolutions. And the nice thing about this is that these are stage one evolutions, you know, the world stage two. So Pokemon breeders, computer street Pokemon breeders, you can actually get rid of Pokemon breeder completely and you have room for other trainer cards you can put in. And speaking of trainers, you have the standard setup trainers here, two Professor Oaks, three Bills, two Energy Retrievals, two Gust of Winds, two Switches, in this case, four energy removals, a Pokemon Center, two computer searches, Pokemon Trader in case you want to get one Pokemon over the other, like if you have Pidgeotto instead of Dragonair, two Lasses, and four plus powers. That was crazy, but you have four plus powers here. And of course, the other big hitter, two super energy removals. I know it makes sense to have four, but I have two in this case. This is just, after all, my layout. It's not the exact perfect layout. And of course, for energy cards, it doesn't matter what energy card you're using. So I have 12 electric energy cards here. And what's great, four double colors energy cards. These come extremely useful because these colors Pokemon can actually use these to get double the energy cards out fast. The strategy behind this deck, it's, it's actually very simple. Chansey up front, as always. But this time, you can actually use double colors energy cards to power up and do that huge 80 damage. That is an option now. You have Teeny in the back and Pidgey in the back too. You want to get Dragonair out as fast as possible. So if you're going to use trainer cards like Computer Search or Pokemon Trader, you probably end up trading your Pidgey or Pidgeotto out for Dragonair. No offense to Pidgeotto, but Dragonair is just the main hitter of this deck. Now, of course, what's great about Dragonair, as I mentioned earlier, is Hyper Beam removes energy cards from your opponent. So while you are powering up Dragonair with some double colors energy cards, you're hitting your opponent with energy removals and super energy removals. And in due time, you're going to end up switching out Chansey with Dragonair. And sadly, since Hyper Beam is such a low powered attack, that's where the four plus powers come in. So you would just stack those up on there and just unleash everything. Or you can stack them on the Chansey too and just do double edge. This deck was pretty hysterical to use just because of the constant energy removal. But likewise, you can get energy removed from you just as easily. But since you have four double colors energy cards in this deck, it's very likely you can hopefully power up Pokemon back up to full speed as within two turns or one turn if how many, depending on how many you lose. This would be the basic layout for a colorless energy removal deck base set only. It's not the exact card list, but this is just what I used during that time, or at least close to what I used during that time. I didn't have all the chances I needed. Same thing with uh, Pokemon Traders. Imagine not having two, you know? But this was a very fun deck, and you're surely going to drive people crazy with all that energy removal from it.